Hello and welcome. My name is Darren McLaughlin. I'm the owner-operator of pipsitehelp.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a backup plugin for your WordPress-based plugin for profit site. Uh, this is my website, Pipsite Help. It's located at pipsitehelp.com, P-I-P-S-I-T-E-H-E-L-P.com. On the left here, uh, you'll see a variety of links to services and products, information, uh, resources that you can use to enhance and modify your PIP site. I encourage you to come to my site and take a look around uh, and see if there's any information that you find valuable to you. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things um, when we're done here. Um, you're watching my video on my YouTube channel and what I would ask that if you don't have a YouTube account that you get one they're free all you have to do is create an account sign up uh, but what I'd like you to do is subscribe to my video channel so that you will get email announcements anytime I create a new video specifically for plugin profits uh, websites this happens to be my personal channel that you're looking at right now but um, in the video frame that you're looking at you'll see a subscribe button and if you'll click that it'll subscribe you to my channel and the other thing I'd like you to do is like this video uh, and that will increase its ranking and rating so that when people search for uh, WordPress related how-to videos or plug-in profit videos mine will rank well and then if you would share this uh, and you can even embed it on your own site if you want to um, but you can share this on Twitter, share it on Facebook, whatever the case may be. You can also follow me on Twitter at Pipsite Help and also on Facebook. There will be links down in the show more area of this particular video. Uh, and I encourage you to utilize those to get the most out of the video. So moving on, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to show you how to download uh, a plugin called Easy Peasy OCB or Easy Peasy One Click Backup. And the reason I like this particular backup utility plugin is that it does several things that a lot of the other plugins don't do. Um, number one, all of them basically back up your WordPress database, and that's great. And this one does it and does it very well. But what this also does that most of the other ones do not do is it backs up all of your files. So any images that you've attached, uh, any template files that actually create or make up your website, it backs those up as well. Um, as well as all of your posts, all of your widgets, all of your plugins, everything that makes up your site gets backed up with this utility. The other nice thing that it does is it does it on a schedule. You can tell it when you want it to back up. And it does it automatically for you on a routine, which is great. And a lot of the other ones don't do any of that. So I'm going to have to assume a couple of things. Number one, that you are able to access your WordPress uh, administrative area on your plugin profit site. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I suggest you get with Pat at the help desk and have her assist you in getting to here. But once you're here, you're going to go to the plugins link on the administrative uh, navigation on the left and drop down the plugins list here. And you'll see here all of the plugins that are associated with your website. This is another client of mine. It's not a plugin profit site, but that's irrelevant to the situation at hand. All we're going to do here is click Add New. And it's going to give us a search box where we're going to search for the Easy Peasy plugin. So if you just type in Easy Peasy, it should come up with just one. And we're going to click Search Plugins. And it should return just the one result of the Easy Peasy OCB. And there you see a one click backup. Easy Peasy one click backup. And you can see it's rated five stars. It's been downloaded hundreds of thousands of times. Uh, it's got great reviews. It works well. I use it on all my WordPress sites. So now all we're going to do from here is click install now and say, OK, yes, we're sure. Uh, it's already gone through and installed it. All we have to do now is click Activate. It only takes a second or two. 
and now it's activated. So here we'll see it in our list. Easy peasy one click backup right there. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to move over to an actual plugin profit site of mine that I've built and show you how to actually configure it. So now what you'll notice is over here on the left it's created its own administrative control panel. And what you want to do is find this easy peasy OCB and hit the little down arrow. And it's got some different pages that we want to go take a look at. If we click the top one in the list, it's going to take us basically to an informational page. Uh, and the rest of these, you'll notice, are linkable right here from this particular page. With the backup now, the choose options, download backup, FAQs, and news. You'll see those are the same links that are over here. This particular page just is mostly informational. I suggest you go through and take a look at it, um, but there's really nothing to do here per se. We're going to skip over the backup now. We're going to come back to that in a minute, but we're going to go to choose options. And here there's just a few options that you really need to change if you change anything at all. The defaults are perfectly acceptable just the way they are. Um, but you can tell it how often you want to run the backup. One time a day is plenty for a plugin profit site. Unless you're posting multiple, to, you know, 10, 15 times a day, then you might want to have it run a couple of times a day. But if you're only posting once a day, once every couple of days, doing it once a day is is plenty. Um, you can tell it whenever you want it to go off. It's nice to have it go off in the middle of the night so that you know there's a low traffic time is when you want this to go off. So if you're setting this for the middle of the night, the only change you may want to make here is your particular time zone uh, because the midnight for Los Angeles is the diff is different than midnight for London. So you're going to want to make sure that your time zone is correct. So just pick your time zone in the drop-down list. It's a very extensive list. You can see it's got all cities from all over the world. And then be sure to hit update options on whatever it is that you change. You can change your date format if you want to. Really all that pertains to is the name of the backup file that's created. Uh, is going to have this as the extension so that you know which date it was created on. And then the rest of these are basically just unchecked. You can read through what these are. Uh, you can check them if you like. The only one I would say to leave unchecked is this hide backup from web access. And you'll see why in just a minute. But that's about all the options you have to do is set how many times you want this to go off and change your uh, time zone. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go and create a backup. We're going to click on Backup Now. And it's going to run through and run our backup for us. And it's going to show us what it's doing while it's doing it. And it's going to give you these little OK symbols and tell you what it's doing all the way through. And then it tells you we're done. Now, what it's done is it's actually created a backup and pasted it into this location. So you'll know that there's a backup copy of it on your server already. But it's always nice to download a backup, a, a copy of that as well to your hard drive occasionally, once a week or whenever. Whenever you're inside making a post, you're going to want to come back here, force a backup, and then download your backup. And all you have to do is just click Download Backup save, tell you want to save it to your desktop, and hit save. And here you can see this is the date that I created this. Hit save, and it's going to back it up and download it to my hard drive. And that's all there is to it. If you something went catastrophically wrong with your server, you ruined your website template, whatever it is, you can use this to get it back. Uh, I have a restore service back on my site here uh, that I could use to um, restore your site back to its original condition. Um, but 
That's how to use the easy peasy one click backup. Again, I'd appreciate it if you were to click subscribe. There will be one last chance at the very end of the video. Also, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and then sharing it and come and visit me on my Facebook page. There will be links down below. Um, follow me on Twitter. If you follow me or fan my Facebook page, I will follow you back and fan your page as well. Um, my email address and other links will be down in the information area. That's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. Best of luck to you.